hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will discuss how we can interact how we can integrate power bi dashboard with dynamics 365 dashboard this is my customer service hub app and here i have many dashboards available here system dashboards in dynamics 365 but if i want to integrate integrate my power bi dashboards with this uh, customer service hub app then how can i integrate so let us see first we have to go to advanced settings from dynamics 365 app and once you go to advanced settings you have to go to administration then you have to go to system settings once you go go to system settings you will see there is a reporting section right so let's click on system settings and now go to reporting section you will see a tab called as reporting in the reporting you will find an option to enable power bi dashboards or visuals in dynamics so click on yes and click ok once you click ok it will enable uh, power bi dashboards to integrate with dynamics so refresh this window so that we can see the uh, power bi dashboard option here now if you click on new option in the top bar you can see two options now dynamics 365 dashboard and power bi dashboard now you are ready to integrate dynamics 365 i mean power bi dashboards with dynamics so let us go to power bi and click on get app click on services option so that i want to uh, pull some uh, dynamics 365 dashboards through some applications there are some applications already available which are uh, compatible with power bi and uh, published by microsoft here these are the applications like uh, dynamics 365 business central uh, omnichannel insights process analytics customer service analytics so click on the customer service analytics this app we will use to uh, use the dashboards that are available in this app now click on this app now it will ask you to uh, install this app this app is a ready-made power bi dashboard app that we can install and the dashboard will look like this okay and uh, now click on get it now and once you click get it now it will ask your name and uh, your working email I can give my email that I use always to log in my and I will agree, agree uh, the terms and conditions then I will click OK. Now once I will click OK it will load it will ask me to install the Power BI app you can also create your own power bi app and uh, publish in your app source so now see you can see here that installing an app as i have downloaded the app from microsoft app source power bi so it is installed now click on go to app to see what data has been installed right so this is the dashboard which comes with that application that i have installed but all these uh, tiles and charts are not yet configured with real data now i have to connect with my real data right so click on go back i want to go back to my workspace so that i can connect my real data so let me click on go back and click on my workspace and click on customer service workspace now you can see there are three options available here dashboard report and data set now click on connect to data so that i can connect my dynamics environment so that it will pull real-time data right and this data set should be connected with real data and once you click that it is asking to provide dynamics 365 service root url so from where you can get that you have to go to advanced settings click on customizations then you have to click the developer resource in this developer resource you will find a web api url that you can use that so copy this web api url by which you can interact with uh, dynamics data paste here the version of this old data is v9.2 now row count you can mention here uh, what is the maximum row count you want to retrieve you can also specify for which period data you want to see then you want to specify also whether you want to automatically refresh the data or not once you are ok click next and it will try to ask you to provide the authentication by which authentication power bi will connect your dynamics 365 choose oauth2 and click sign in it will again prompt to sign in with your current credential 
now you given the current credential the power bi is ready and the data is connected in a short while okay now it will be connected just one second it will not take more time now it is now refreshing the real data can you see that the loader is loading here and the top uh, notification area also the loader is loading so it is trying to refresh or pull dynamics 365 data into power bi so that the uh, dashboard that has been designed will connect to it the real data set uh, data set which is pointing to my dynamics environment then it, it will build the dashboard okay so it will take some couple of seconds that's it let us wait it is still loading now once it is loaded you can see here i can click on the dashboard to see all the visualizations that will load properly connecting to my real data real time data right now this dashboard is connected with my real data you can see here there are three active caches and uh, some uh, cases are escalated and uh, these charts are already inbuilt with the data right so we can also edit this dashboard in power bi and we can update this in dynamics now once the, once this dashboard is created now i will go to dynamics to embed this dashboard into dynamics so click on power bi dashboard and choose this dashboard inside dynamics 365 now it will ask you to choose which workspace you want to connect click on customer service workspace because my workspace is customer service workspace which is created by default by the installation of the app now here choose the dashboard also the dashboard name is customer service analytics dashboard you can validate the name here also the name is customer service analytics for dynamics right now this dashboard will be integrated inside this so click on dynamics and here choose enable for unified client click save as soon as i will save okay now the dashboard will be well integrated in dynamics it will refresh the screen and the dashboard will load for me within a second right now i can see how easily i can integrate dynamics 365 dashboards inside a customer service model driven app through dashboards right so now we can leverage the integration by any type of power bi dashboard that we perf we create in uh, power bi inside dynamics 365 it's not related to dynamics uh, entities or tables only you can connect to any type of data source and uh, you can integrate that dashboard with dynamics 365 right so this is how we can integrate any type of power bi dashboards inside dynamics 365 you can also drill down the dashboards through and you can filter also by case priority subject agent queue so th these are all designed in power bi so uh, whatever design or whatever option you perform here in power bi will be performed here inside dynamics 365 if the if the data is changed in background you can click on refresh to refresh the dashboard if you want to edit the dashboard you can click on open power bi dashboard so the dashboard that are displaying in dynamics 365 will open in power bi so that you can edit it right so this is the robust editor in power bi you can do any changes here you can click a visualization and change it uh, change the access labels legends and visualization so whatever change you want to do you can do here and then once you save this dashboard that will be automatically published in dynamics and you have to click on refresh button so that it will reflect correct data so here you can see my dashboards displaying power bi dashboards and also crm dashboards right so we can shuffle one dashboard to another as per your need so thank you guys i hope you understand how we can integrate seamlessly the power bi dashboards inside dynamics 365 application model driven apps we can also integrate dynamics we can also integrate power bi analytics or visualization inside canvas apps and power portals okay so in my next videos i will tell you how we can do that thank you